At least the clouds are good. Yeah. That's true. They are. Um, hello, who can org? It is Paul and Curry here once again uh, with another video review for you. This one is for Beamer Ice Drops, which is not a tobacco, it's not an herbal, it's a hookah shisha gel. Uh, it's very odd. Um, you saw at the beginning of this uh, video uh, some clips of me packing it, and it really it looks like chopped up jello. Um, I had no idea what to really expect with this. It seems to just be some kind of glycerin gel. Um, there's no nicotine, uh, which is nice because you can just smoke it like yeah. a kind of like an e cig. Oh yeah. Turns oh. your hookah into a giant e cig. Yeah, it's, I mean it's kind of similar in theory to the electronic hookah mm. pocket thing. Whatever oh yeah, it was yeah, yeah, that Beamer had. Yeah, yeah. that we tried last yeah. time. Um, so, like, it's a similar idea, I guess, but for the actual hookah, not just an e-cigarette? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the flavor is supposed to be mint, but frankly, I'm not getting any actual... Well, I'm getting the tiniest bit of actual mint flavor. Otherwise, this is basically just menthol. Like, yeah. That, that's all I get here. Um... It took a surprising amount of time and heat to really get this one smoking, uh, and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear, but there's a constant kind of um, boiling, bubbling sound coming from my funnel bowl that's a little disconcerting, but it's fine. I mean, it's not burning or anything. I'm not even sure if this stuff can burn. Only one way to find out. Keep smoking, I guess. Please don't light the house on fire. I'm, I'm not burning anything down. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it's not, it definitely doesn't have a lot of mint flavor. Like, there's no distinct peppermint or spearmint or even mint blend. It is very much just a menthol flavor, which for some people might work. Like, they may just be looking for that sort of cooling kind of minty aspect. Yeah, not for me. Um... um. Yeah, it, it's sweet, it's cooling, and that's about all it is. That's yeah. really all I get from this. Uh, so I, I, I really can't recommend this one as a mint tobacco substitute. Um, yeah, it's kind of a thumbs down for me. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're not in the mood for a super strong flavor and you don't want the buzz, it's good. Like, I mean, if it's, if maybe if you're introducing someone to hookah who literally never smokes anything ever. Maybe. And you don't want them to even get a slight nicotine buzz and you just kind of want to introduce them to the idea of it. Yeah. I can totally see that. I mean, there um, are people out there who are allergic to nicotine. Right. So I guess this would be a decent option for that. But to be frank, if you are okay smoking tobacco, I would skip this and go with a mint tobacco like Tangier's Cane Mint or even just Nakla Mint. Better options in my opinion. Yeah. So that's about it. Um, this is Paul and Kari once again saying thank you very much for joining us. Uh, please go down below, like and subscribe, give us that thumbs up. It really helps us out. Please go to hookah.org, which is the website that actually sponsors all of this. Um, and that is the only place that you're going to find the information you need to get into the contest that we run every month. So once again, thank you very much for joining us and happy smoking.